go over our top five things that we learned in 2021. Dean Family Acres. <laughs> Number one, we need to focus more on what works for us and our family. You can't always end up just doing what everyone else is doing, and sometimes you have to modify that schedule. For instance, for us, um, goats just aren't working well. With the space that we have, being able to rotational graze, um, a couple other things, we just we've learned you know that's just not a good fit for us right now. So. Um, you can check out that video here where we kind of talk about us transitioning away from goats. Number two, always learn from your mistakes and learn how you can always improve. Was 2020 better in certain things that you grew in your garden than 2021? Um, how are you going to change that for 2022? So, learn from past mistakes. For us, I think our squash vine borers and squash bugs finally found us. 2020 was an incredible year for squash. Um, 2021 was a great year as well, but not nearly as productive as 2020. So how are we gonna modify that? What are we gonna do, etc. I think number one is try and get things in as early as possible and also plant a couple different um, sets of those plants so that we actually have a couple different um, times when we are able to harvest and if they get one, set then we've got another set on the way so that's uh, number two is learn from your past mistakes number three is don't bite off more than you can chew if there are things going on that you just can't handle be willing to put up limits and just say hey this is what I can do sometimes that works out great sometimes not so great but for us um, we kind of had to do that this year and you can't take on everything again every everyone has different situations that they're dealing with whether this be something on your farm or something else but don't take on more than you can actually handle number four make lists i'm not really good at this um, my wife is and uh, make lists are something that we definitely um, have learned uh, because if you don't make a list then you might jump from one project to another and they may never get finished um, hence why we still have trenches from mother's day 2020 in portions of our yard where we were working on installing a sprinkler system and you still hadn't even seen any of those videos even though we've got tons of footage so um, again just make lists so that you can kind of keep yourself on track uh, that's a huge thing for us uh, that we need to do more of um, we do some of it but we continually need to learn another addition to number four um, with making lists is just trying to stay organized uh, that includes not only YouTube, but also your farm or anything else. Um, trying to keep those things organized so that you're not just randomly doing different things. Um, for instance, with YouTube, you know, we've done a barn build series. You can kind of see part of that here behind me. Um, we've kind of gotten caught up to where we are on the barn build, except for uh, a couple different posts and headers and things that we've done for the lean to. Um, but being able to kind of know when you want to have those things come out, whether it be on YouTube, or whether it be on, hey, I need to have this built by this day or have this thing done by this day. Um, just always trying to do that is certainly important. Okay, um, don't do something uh, just throwing it together just to try and get something um, finished unless it's you know a weather event moving in and you just can't completely do that project, but you need to protect um, maybe your plants or your animals, etc. cetera. Uh, those are some exceptions. Number five, be frugal. Uh, that's something I usually don't have a problem with, but sometimes it does give you a little bit of an itch to want to, oh, I can just buy that or do that or whatever. Um, be patient and be frugal. Um, we recently had an opportunity to buy some new landscape fa fabric, like our DeWitt's landscape fabric that we used in our garden. I'll link that video here. Um, the last couple of years has worked great. Uh, we had an opportunity to purchase some of that at about half price from a gentleman who had only used it one year. He was getting out of um, market gardening. So, um, and he also, he wasn't organic, but it was all natural. So essentially it was pretty much organic other than he didn't go through the process of being certified organic. So um, make sure and just always keep your eyes open. Um, be willing to go here, there, wherever. But you also want to price check. Sometimes things um, might seem like a good deal and they're really not. 
Uh, so you always want to price check those things. Um, for instance, the gentleman had some uh, mistakes that actually hold that fabric down. Um, I'm not a huge uh, one to necessarily order everything off of Amazon, although it is kind of convenient, but they were about five times the price of ordering them off of Amazon. Were they exact same quality? I'm not sure, but the staples that we had ordered um, in the past were the ones that we had used, again, were about a fifth of the price and they work fine for us for what we do. So just know what you're looking at, um, be willing to look it up, and um, you kind of gotta, on sometimes you gotta just be willing to drop what you're doing and go get or go do or communicate and again that takes time so you got to balance all that stuff out hopefully all five of these things um, were beneficial um, for us I know but hopefully they might be for you as well and us all learning together all right guys so this is a sneak peek of a video we'll have coming out in the middle of the week as a special we're gonna do some special up potting videos. These are from earlier in the year, but I just think it would be good and interesting for folks to have extra opportunity to be able to see some of this stuff. So um, be sure and check in on Thursday afternoon as this one goes up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video and just let us know what your goals are in regards to 2022 and what you've learned in 2021. Um, we really appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget after you give us that like, also hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already and ring that bell like Mike Tyson did in the 1980s. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Thanks again for watching.